end up a test. Um, so so we we'll start and, uh, and execute, execute the test. The test right? Right? Take right. a look. Uh, what we can see here is uh, something more about the query search tool. Brain, uh, we can test uh, two different data sets, two different connection for metadata, or maybe two different tables, two different uh, sources of data stored in the warehouses, or maybe a different data source called Hadoop, which is on structured data, and then we can make a comparison with some structured RDBMS. So, Let's see, this is how we can make a connection. So if we go next, then we have an option to select with the column level comparison, table level comparison, and a row level comparison. So let's say we're gonna take a look right now at the column level comparison for our, this demo. We go here and take a look. Uh, so we have two different columns that look similar. So I'm just taking that and then we'll like make a selection out of it to go forward and check the comparisons of the source tables and target tables. It looks like uh, we can see here pretty much uh, the both the columns. So drag the source table onto target table for table level comparison. So create uh, source query and we can drag it target label for comparison so here we see the comparisons of the column so well, we can create a folder and store it according to the requirement so we can say the test suite underscore one. Let's say folder that is so called is uh, query pairs and folder name is uh, test. So we can do the same thing and we can create uh, our own query pair that helps us to see the column level comparisons. It looks like uh, we are able to create now. 100%, so I'm pressing OK. And uh, once we have it created, we can try to create and run it on some specific time by scheduling it. So schedule this scenario, name is uh, just schedule and uh, let's say we want to schedule it after a certain point of time on the same day let's say what's time is 206 right now and we want to schedule it 15 so it will execute around 215 uh, let's say make it uh, 207 so that we can see what's executing and how it's executing I'm selecting agent that is my name here now adding a test suit that we want to execute that we just created and we put here and then let's just save it so that uh, we can see after one minute it will schedule the same test again and then we can see how it runs how it works so meantime we can take a look uh, what are the other features so run manual we have a run dashboard feature where in, uh, we can see the previous stats run is passed or failed so we can see here the tests are passed, previously run a test, and uh, kind of uh, in a my schedule scenario, my scenario, you can see how it schedule start time at 1 p.m. I started and it executed. So let's see the one that we did. So just now the one we scheduled is at 207 is scheduled. 
and it brings us a results. So all the results pass the answers too. No fails, no error, no, nothing wrong. Everything's okay. It also creates a graph. We can even configure the graphs that we want to create with this. And that's how the column level compare works. Let's quickly take a look at row level compare. So we can quickly create one comparison for our row level, selecting the two different data sets, two different target and source, quickly going back and see the row level. I'm selecting certain rows to take a look. So here's we have a source query and target query. The query will execute and get results and compare it. Let's see how it works. So we are again adding to the same folder and folder name is the score of all. And then uh, create a new test suit for the query pair. So yes, uh, so we say yes, test suit. And here we go. So we have this many details for this query wizard. And then we just click create a query so that we can create a query pair. And it's generated right now. So we have quickly created a new query pair for our scenario. Let's schedule again this uh, query pair to execute. So we have scenario name is to overall compare. Our test. And let's see if we want to test it right now. So 209 is the current time. I want this to be executed at 210. So quickly, I need to finish the configurations and add the second test suit and say save. So within a minute, we can see the schedule query or test suit will be run and execute and return with the results so that uh, we can take a look how it works. So meantime, we can see the schedule scenario Previously run is on 2.7. So let's see what we schedule that runs. So our schedule runs perfectly fine and it passed the row level comparisons. So that passed the so results executed and we'll get the status analysis of our data comparison at row level. We can even make a simple query. We don't need to schedule, but just execute uh, two, two queries and see how, how it works. So let's say we have a query pair and we want to just see how it works. Looks like the data is uh, test data, and see it compares around 2,000 row with target and source, and it works fine. So it gives a results, and then view query results. So it will show us a results how it works. Even it shows uh, detail for level record level data level that helps us to figure out more and the queries as well this looks pretty good i mean to set we can even see the history in properties we can select the data type checking that's pretty much so yeah so i'll stop sharing and